I go out on my boat, my John boat, 10 killer right there in the background, as you can see. I had to go do some work as far as like I'm, I'm shooting video for this home theater company that does home theaters and you know, stuff on docks like speakers, flat screens, alarms, security, whatever. So I was like, all right, they're on the lake. I'm gonna go ahead and put my boat in, go do some work, then I'm gonna go fishing. Well, I did. Started skipping a mag draft because it's about that time. Fished for about 30 minutes, didn't have anything. All of a sudden, I moved to the back of some pockets. Lo and behold, I skip up underneath the dock. Here comes old belly, wraps me up. I'm like, all right. Hit my trolling motor, trolling motor ain't moving. Kept hitting it. I was stomping the trolling motor. It wasn't moving. Lost, it was at least, you know, five plus, six pound. I mean, it was big and then it had a big one with it. Dude, this sucks. It's the second time it's done that. It started acting up, it's grinding. I've already took the prop off. There's no line in it whatsoever. It'll work for about five minutes and then it just goes to where it's dead. I'm getting another trolling motor. But the question is, should I get a 24 volt? Should I move up? Like put my big boy pants on and get me an 80 pound thrust on this 1648 10 killer here. Right now it's a 45 pound thrust. Setting five moves you pretty good. So I just gotta be careful not to throw, my, throw myself in the water. What's up, dude? Wanna go wash your boat? Come on. Load up, son. No, but anyway, I washed my boat real quick. It was a little dirty, like real dirty, dirt, mud, dust. This video ain't about washing your boat because we all know how to do that. This video is about this trolling motor right here, this Mencota Edge. It's been a great trolling motor. I got it for a hundred bucks and it was practically brand new when I bought it. Started acting up a couple months ago when I was skipping that mag draft up underneath them docks and it was a really good freaking fish and I couldn't get to it because my trolling motor would not take me to it. So that's when I'm like, all right, that's it. I'm done. I'm done. I'll never miss a fish like that again. This right here. Now, as you can tell, see I can hit the button. And it'll rock and roll, right? It, it's making a little grinding noise up in here. I already took the prop off. There's no fishing line, no nothing in here. Clean as a whistle. <laughs> That's kind of got me thinking. I'm like, all right, I know where a trolling motor is. And I'm not trying to go buy like a Lowrance Ghost or, you know, anything like that. Because I don't need that much power on this John boat. Just like I don't need a lot of gas. Sucks, don't it? So I found a trolling motor for $300. It's a, it's a motor guide. Yeah, they are loud. They're a little noisy. The guy said it was like three years old, 80 pound thrust. It's an 80 pound thrust. So he let me have it for $300, but it's a 24 volt. So I'm thinking I got one battery back here. I've got an interstate battery that runs 12 volt trolling motor, that Garmin, which is live scope, and then my Garmin back air, and my lights and my radio if I want to crank it up. But no, it's not the battery. The reason the trolling motor is doing that is not because of the battery. Because if a battery was getting drained, my Garmin, my live scope would give me an alarm like it did before. So, but it's kind of crazy how I've been running all this stuff off that one interstate battery. But, 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 I might have somebody else coming in. So if I decide to go with this 24 volt trolling motor, I might have like a little you know i might be putting somebody else's logo on the side of this boto you know what i'm saying and if that does happen I promise i'll try to get y'all a discount code to go along with it speaking of discount codes hey, let's not forget about our sunglasses right like these bright days you're going to be out there fishing it's getting warmer even if it was cold days and it's going to be bright whatever never forget about a good pair of sunglasses waterlandco.com use dude 15 as your code and get 15 percent off any type of sunglasses on there any apparel i think it's for apparel yeah we'll, we'll just say it's for apparel anything they got cool hats they got cool shirts sun shirts and they got really cool glasses and i've got another pair on the way baby if i didn't like them i wouldn't wear them i wouldn't tell you to go buy some so let's not forget about protecting our eyes especially when you're hungover or if you just have pink eye or something like that anyway back to the video yeah if i do go with this company this battery company 
and I'll give you I'll give you one more hint. Yes, it is a lithium. Yes, I will be getting a 24 volt battery. One, right? Or I might be getting two. But the thing is, they weigh like 20 pounds or something stupid. I don't even know. But if I do get it, I'm gonna do a video on it. We're gonna go over it, and I promise I'm gonna try to get y'all some codes so you can get a discount off at this same company. But I have to use these batteries first. I'm not gonna do it right out the box. Get you codes, and then I end up not liking it, and because I don't want to, I don't want, I don't want to be fake news. So I'm gonna try them out for a while before I start pumping out codes. And then if it, if it doesn't work out, I'll just go back to Interstate because this Interstate has been a really good battery, but it's 60 pounds, right? But that's kind of update right now. I'm kind of stuck in the mud because I have no trolling motor. I'm gonna go look at it Thursday or maybe tomorrow. And, um, you know, if it looks good or whatever, give them $300 and then see if I can hook up this battery deal and we'll, we'll go from there. But thanks for watching. Catch me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. And until next time, we'll catch you on that flip-flop. Watch out.